Lance Class fans, Captain CA here, and welcome back to the channel. This is the channel where we teach you to be a better inshore angler. What do we got for you today? Well, I'm on a staycation, staying at a friend's house here in Palm Harbor, Tarpon Springs, Florida, Dave and Julie Lacey, and we've been out on the yellowfin the last few days. Today, we're actually going to go scalloping, but it's typical summertime weather. It's very stormy, and yesterday, we tried to go fishing. Um, I didn't bring any of my gear, so we're not doing any technical stuff today, but we are doing something that a lot of you enjoy doing, and that's natural bait fishing. We did some natural bait fishing. Uh, the goal was to go offshore and get some grouper, snapper, go cobia fishing on some of the wrecks, but the wind has not allowed it, and definitely not the rain and weather. It's not the perfect situation. So did I mention we were on vacation? We don't want to stress. So we ended up taking... <laughs> the big yellow fin and going just basically bouncing around islands and inlets and stuff like that just looking for snook and, and reds. Uh, we did find the reds and we caught them on a very widely distributed and easily attainable bait, the pinfish. That's right. Pinfish are probably the single biggest protein source for most game fish here in Florida and easy to not only attain through the cast net over there, but also keep alive and fish just love them. I'll come back and tell you some of the basic tackle that we were using to, to catch fish. But in the meantime, go watch some of the action and I'll be right back. Real down on him. <laughs> I am sneaking through the bushes. <laughs> bait offshore fishing. I'm kind of liking it. We're way offshore. Look. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing like taking a giant twin engine <laughs> boat and staying behind the island today. <laughs> Too many storms. That's it. I'll tell you what, Dave Lacey might be one of the best <laughs> at at the art of cast netting for sure. So 
it was easy for us to procure 40, 50 pinfish pretty quickly um, right here in his canal. And as you saw, um, we made a run outside, but there is so much rain and so much stormy weather. And, and there was a little bit of an unpredicted Northwest. So with the girls hanging out with us and stuff, we decided to fool around and try to go tarpon fishing for a little while. Never really worked out. So we ended up on the higher phase, taking this gigantic 31 foot yellowfin and fishing some of the barrier islands and just taking those pinfish and hooking them in the back and making some, you know, what I would call tactile casts up close to the trees and allowing those pinfish to swim up underneath the bushes. Now, in many cases, we had to snip the tails of those pinfish so that they wouldn't come away from the bush line. But if you make a good cast and you just kind of flick it in there with a spinning rod, you can pop them in there and they'll skip back up underneath the limbs and you can hook a fish. Now, the hook size, you might say, um, varies quite a bit. We really use hook sizes anywhere from 2 aught all the way up to 4 aught, depending upon the size of the pinfish that we were pulling out of the well with four aught being pretty much the normal, three to four aught being pretty much the normal. Now, we're using light leader because we were just, again, employing, we brought a few small rods, and when I say small, the small rods were in the four and 5,000 size um, because we had brought much bigger tackle to go offshore in this boat. So we had a few small rods and we decided, hey, you know, we'll just play a little bit of music and we'll just throw up there on the trees and see if we can't catch some snook and redfish, which we did catch a couple of redfish with the one that you saw Blondie catching being the largest. But if you're just looking for a good time and you're looking for a setup, um, uh, terminal tackle wise, all you need is some light wire hooks in that two, three, and four out size. Um, we had leaders on the lighter rods that were 30 and 40 pound variety in the fluorocarbon and we only had three feet because a lot of this fishing when you make those casts with those pinfish up to the tree line the bait's doing all the work this isn't the technical stuff that i'm typically bringing you so they're just swimming around in there and and basically fluttering without a tail on because we were clipping them with bait shears clipping those tails off just making them easy prey for redfish and uh, as you saw, Blondie ended up getting the largest one, which I shared with you, that was probably close to about 28 and a half inches long, but a lot of fun. We had a lot of fun that day, just hanging out, and that's what summertime fishing is really all about. Now today, we're supposed to go scalloping, and as you can see the clouds behind me, in typical summertime fashion, it's getting gonna be a challenge again, but we don't have to go too far today. Uh, if you like these little tips and these little adventures and reviews that we do here on Flats Cost YouTube, give us the thumbs up and subscribe. I need you to be a part of this channel so we can make it even bigger. If you enjoyed everything, give us the like button today because the more we, more we trend on those likes, the faster we grow. All right, well, I'm going to put this tackle back and uh, pick up my mask and fins because today is all about scalloping and we're going to bring that video to you in the next few days.